A weekend concert in Regina is catching some heat after artists claim they weren't compensated and fans say they didn't receive the VIP upgrades they paid for. Hallie Mandrick brings us details from the Sweet Escape Festival. Some fans and performers were feeling salty after the inaugural Sweet Escape Music Festival at Regina's Victoria Park. We got on a jet this morning. We came to see you guys, right? When we got here, when we got here, the promoter ain't have our money. Artists on stage telling the crowd they had not been paid for their performances, many cutting their sets short as a result. An apology would be nice from the organizers. Like they were posting on their pages, Polo G and all these good things, and it wasn't very good, so. Event organizers say the artists have since been compensated. Unfortunately, there was a misunderstanding about payment arrangement and details concerning the deposit uh, through the bank and their final payments. Uh, but it's been resolved now, and uh, we're definitely committed to improving our communication and transparency in the future. There were reports of fights breaking out in the crowd with insufficient security to handle the crowd. The DJ on the stage, there was a fight, and he's like, whoa, guys, break that up, break that up. And there's no security anywhere, so they're asking the crowd to break up the fights. Like, there was multiple fights that night. Organizers blame a communication error for the lack of security as well. Murray is one of several patrons who felt they were scammed after being sold VIP tickets at the gate, only to discover that the VIP perks did not exist. As of right now, uh, we cannot uh, guarantee anything. Concerning the liquor ticket refunds and beer gardens not being open, the festival organizers are actively addressing the concerns and we're taking this issue seriously and are committed to resolving the matter properly for those that are affected. This event was marketed as the first annual, and in spite of these problems, organizers are still hoping to bring the festival back next year. It wasn't our intent. We wanted to end off the summer with something memorable. Hallie Mandrick, CTV News, Regina.